All right, so we're here with the Heiwa Village update. Apparently, they've also reworked training points. So, um, from my understanding, it seems like it's like RPGs where you can just apply the points to whatever you want. I might be horribly mistaken on that, but um, they're saying that there's like a whole, like the things are hidden. Like there's music coming from an unknown source, things moving. Okay, well, I see an umbrella. I see an instrument. So let me see, what does training points do? Oh! Look at that. Oh, so my... Jeez, it has 500 training points. So I can just... Remove training points and add. That's actually... I, I'm satisfied with that. Oh, what the... Wait, that one has a tongue. Oh, there we go. Umbrella. Not, not the most original name. I'll admit. Wait, what? I've never seen. Well, I guess I have to run then. How is it? It is not full. I also have a spot open in my team. Yeah, I have. Like half of my is it bugged i think there's a bug everyone else is saying the same thing i mean i guess we can at least try to see the lumians for now i can't remember if this little jar was here or not oh wait a minute i was right that okay, wait geez how many lumians did they add land tot okay that's two new lumian lines and unfortunately, let me guess, I can't catch it. Okay, this is... Well, that's a okay, so two... New so there's a lantern. There's a... Whatever... I forget what this thing is called. I swear these things weren't here either. And I know there's a yokai based off of these things. But then again, that might just be those. I don't know. So there's at least three new lines of Lumians. And yeah, this one's come alive but we've already seen that i mean we can see it again why not i guess we can look through in here oh that's interesting so eyebrella probably evolves once and then there's another two stage i have a feeling a lot of these are going to be two stages capture bug fix it okay why are they giving us eight minutes to wait for that this is a very weird beginning to this video. There's just nothing to really, like, actually do. Because it's all broken. I swear these jars were not here before. So for all I know, there could be four new lines of Lumians. Which is a pretty decent amount for a random little update like this. Now it's night time, so maybe... Different things will happen, because I still have yet to find any of these things to be working. There's also the jars that are confusing me, and I swear these lanterns weren't here, but we already have those lantern lumens. Why would there be two? I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with literally anything, as I can't do anything right now. Oh. Oh, so that means there's four new lines of lumens. Milgu. What? Oh, so it's kind of like Sinistee or something. Probably not, but... So there's a total of... Four, as far as I know. There's the jars, there's the instrument, there's the umbrella, and there's the lanterns. Okay, so... Eyebrella looks like it evolves once. This is probably the instrument over here, and lantern evolves once. Jar thing probably evolves once. They're really not a single three-stage... It really is funny, though, how they went and just did the exact opposite. Instead of going for the obvious thing, like, oh, you can hunt in the sacra petals, or, oh, there's something new to encounter in the little ponds. Nope. Everything's just hidden around. All right, the bug fix is coming, which means we're going to be able to actually play this. Maybe this time I'll actually have some luck in getting that uh, instrument lumion. Because I couldn't find a single one. Will it work this time? Let's find out. 
I guess I'm just not going to use spare because they slowly eat it themselves. I could have said something else, but that would probably get this video demonetized. I don't make money anyways, but... Ibrella. This Lumion resembles an umbrella. I never would have guessed that. Unsuspecting people who grab this Lumion by the leg are given a disgusting lick from the tongue-like strap around about... The, whoa. The tongue-like strap wrapped around its body. What just happened there? Anyway. Oh, my god, finally. Uh, so this is new to me. Ooh, I like that. I love its face. And a name to listen. They gotta listen to its song. I, I like that. Okay, let's look at listen. Listen likes to perform for others by playing traditional tunes from a bygone era. Those who try to touch its chords uninvited are usually met with a painful headbutt. Alright, we found another milgu. Maybe I can actually capture this one. A glass of milk that had been left out for too long. Milgu emits a nauseating scent strong enough to make opponents vomit if smelled from close up. Finally, a land tot. Hopefully I can catch it. Okay, well I actually paid attention that time. It used tribute. And it just... Okay. Cool. Now I gotta find another one. I swear, every different server I'm in, the chances of encountering things are random, because now I'm finding a bunch of land tots. Now let me catch this one, please. Whose idea was it to give these things tribute? I swear to god- Oh my- Okay, third time's the charm of land tot, right? Can I actually catch this one? Finally, we've got a land tot. Land tot are known for hanging from trees or houses close to or in towns and villages. They offer their light to strangers lost in the dark. So apparently from what I'm hearing, all of these Lumians evolve at level 25. Normally I would use power fruits. I'm getting a little low on those and I don't want to waste the money. And 25 isn't too bad of a level. Alright, so if what people were saying was correct. Alright, we got one of them. Ibrella. I really am curious what some of these are going to evolve into. Because they're all just like inanimate objects. Whoa. Yeah, that looks like a Kirby boss. Parasol. That's a much better name than Ibrella, but at the same time, I couldn't come up with much better myself anyways. I like that. And yep, Lantot is also evolving. Now, I know one very popular yokai based around lanterns, so I'm curious. Not what I was expecting. Land Torch. I like it. Alright, and... Oh, okay. Mastery points. Anyway, I should have gotten... The other two evolutions now. This will be Listen's evolution, which I am really looking forward to because I like this. I like this first stage a lot so far. All right. Honestly, just kind of became a different instrument, but I still like it. Be warned. Listen and be warned. Those are those are really good names. Wait, that sounds broken. Start a song which concludes dramatically after three turns, causing all Lumians that listen to the entire song to faint instantly. That, okay. And last up, we have Milgu. What? Ooh, I really like that. Rancidor. What the heck? I don't even know what that is supposed to be, but I love it. These are really good Lumians. All right, let's check their descriptions. Parasol opens up on rainy days and absorbs water. It releases the water it has absorbed by spinning rapidly, thus soaking any enemies within range. Be warned are capable of playing different tunes that affect those who hear it in mysterious ways. Legends tell of a song played by a be warned that caused an entire village to be destroyed overnight. Land Torch are very shy and easily startled. Many wild forest fires are believed to have been started by a Land Torch that suddenly became startled, resulting in the immediate area erupting into flames. No longer able to contain the rancid and spoiled liquid within, Rancid Orb manifests itself outside of its bottle as a stinking mass of putrid ooze. Those who catch a whiff will suffer from more than just an upset stomach. 
Also, I just realized this is mind typeless. We have a typeless combo. They actually went and did it. Kind of weird that the evolution is mind typeless because I feel like this could. Also, I don't know. I mean, I just say, uh, as usual, very great update. Honestly, was not expecting all of this. Yeah, we got four whole new lines of Lumians. I'm sure, there are only two stages, but I mean, that's eight Lumians in total. And they're all pretty darn good. Well, I gotta say, I'm actually very happy with this update. I am satisfied with this. I was expecting like one, maybe two new lines of Lumians. And, you know, I was also expecting them to be a bit more natural, like, oh, just hunting the sacra petals like you do with grass, go fishing, there's a new fish in there. That's actually what those two silhouettes I made in the thumbnail were based off. It was a weird little sacra petal fairy and a, well, a fish, but I think they did that a lot better than what I was expecting. I really do like that. I hope they do more stuff like this on occasion, going back to old areas in the game, especially, like, cities and kind of empty areas that... You never really have much of a reason to go back to and add like something to make the cities feel more lived in instead of i mean they f they do feel lived in because there's npcs walking around but having like actual encounters and lumians that hide and run around in the area i like that a lot and also i think i mentioned this at the beginning of the video but yeah um super super happy with the new tp update i don't even know if these are good stats that i set it at i don't care but yeah that makes things a lot easier for both casual players like myself and the pvp players to just get exactly what you need no tedious grinding not needing to buy a bunch of gummies or whatever we had to use i don't really remember so yeah i, I think that's really cool and i believe the game pass where you used to see the advanced stats is now just double TPs. So every time you do a battle or whatever, you get twice the TPs, which is kind of nice. So even less grinding, yippee. Yeah, once again, I think this was a pretty nice update. Definitely a bit buggy at the beginning. There's always bugs at the beginning. Though. I'm not complaining about that. Although that was one hell of a bug I've never seen before. Yeah, again, I really hope they do more stuff like this. Just revisiting old areas, adding in some new permanent stuff, giving us reasons to go back there. Now, as for what's next with Lumion Legacy, we know that there's the PvP rework and Route 9. No idea if those are coming in the same update. I kind of hope it is, because I feel like that way you could kind of satisfy everybody, because if it's just the PvP rework, well, like someone like me, for example, I'm not really going to bother. I'm not going to... I'm not interested. And, but, you know, you add Route 9 on the other hand, you're gonna... Everyone's gonna be interested in that. So I do hope that they do both. But we'll see what happens. Not sure how far away that's going to be. Because they keep slowly adding things with the PvP rework. You know, they added um, the battle tokens to replace the godforsaken abbreviation of Colosseum points. Now we have new... Uh, new ways to use training points. I'm very interested to see what's next and I'll see you again whenever that time is. See ya!